Grounds launched with the idea of closing the gap between the farmer Miller and Baker. Um, we work with growers in the South, our main grower, um, the brunt of our brand comes from North Carolina. We also have a grower in Virginia and a couple in Georgia and other growers in North Carolina. We're a Baker driven mill. I'm a former Baker, 14 years of um, owner operator of Natural Bridge Bakery and the way that we approach milling is very much a craft. We cold stone mill our product, so it's um, stone milled, we keep our temperatures below 100 degrees. The benefit of cold stone milling is our, our goal is to protect the oils the, that are um, in the germ that, my understanding is there's um, vitamin E that will act as a natural um, preservative for the flour, there's also all the nutrients, so we want to protect those nutrients so they can be delivered to the baker and to the end product. What we provide with these flours is, um, is flavor and nutrients, and, that, and cold stone milling to protect the nutrients is part of it, but the flavor is, is also key, just as important. I mean, for the baker, that whether they're doing a straight dough or a long, slow ferment, a sponge, however they're approaching their bread, um, in the past, they had, you know, a roller milk flour that can be incredibly functional, and um, you can make lovely bread. But what we're what we're delivering here is the ability to work with kind of a, a whole new palette of flavors. We're we're looking at the flour as it's as it's coming out, and you know, squeezing it and seeing if it'll hold form, and looking at that sort of white endosperm. The average size mill in this country um, processes, I think, 120,000 pounds of grain a day. <laughs> we are a micro mill. We're, we're, produ we're processing 1,000 to 2,000 pounds of grain a day. But even in the in the largest mill, the miller is still essential. If, if Kim was in here milling, and if it was milling too fast or something, you, you could tell by the sound, just stepping in, oh, we need to slow that down. And, and the grain is going to speed up as it goes down the hopper. So, you know, it's up to the miller to ensure that we're getting consistent um, speed. But also, when we're, you know, to begin with, when we turn on our mill, it's up to the miller to set the stones properly. Late 1800s, every community had their own mill. And, you know, as soon as milling went from sort of craft to industry, that 120,000 pounds of grain process today, I mean, we, we just, the landscape changed and we lost our community mill. And, and part of what we're doing here is trying to bring that back, you know. And the bakers are connected through the mill, the farmers are connected to the miller and to the baker. And, you know, it's all here, it's our regions.